What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to add slope to our roof slab to allow for the roof drainage condition. So we are going to modify this one section of the model. And then after that, I'm going to show you how to add the installation layer. Okay, so let's do this. So we are going to select the roof slab. And then after that, to separate this area, this section here, so we are going to add split line. Okay, so let's select here, add split line. And then I'm going to orbit so I can see it clearly. And then I'm going to select the top of our view cube. So I can pick this area and then I'm going to pick this point here. And there you go. So there's now our split line. So it's now separated. So this section here is now separated to this section. So I'm going to select modify to terminate the tool. Okay, so it's now separated. Now to add the slope, so let's click again the roof. And then from the shape editing panel, so I'm going to select here add point. Okay, so it adds reshaping points to select the roof or floor geometry. So let's click add point. And then we're going to place it here. So the location of that point is not critical to this exercise. So maybe I'm just going to pick somewhere here. There you go. Okay. And then after that, I'm going to select here, uh, modify. So there's now the point, right? So let us select again the uh, floor slab. And then for us to be able to put the slope, I'm going to select modify sub elements so let's click that and then after that you see our pointer here i'm going to hover that to this side here and then remember for you to be able to cycle the selection you can press the tab continuously right and then you need to look at your status bar here what does it saying so i'm gonna hover my pointer and then i'm gonna press the tab once and then you can now check your options bar. I mean the status bar. So the status bar says chain of walls or lines. The status bar is here. Okay. So it's now saying chain of walls or lines. So let me do that again. Hover your pointer to the side of the slab and then press tab. So now it says chain of walls or lines. That is what we needed. So if I'm going to press again the tab, it will say now different, differently, right? So every time you press the tab, it cycles the selection. So once you see chain of walls or lines is selected or uh, selected or highlighted, so let us now click that. And then we are going to change here the elevation. So for the elevation, I'm going to change that to 6 inches. And then enter. And there you go. So as you can see, there's now a slope, right? And then I'm just going to select here, modify. There you go. So there is our slope. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to open the roof level. And then I'm going to show you how to add an insulation. But before that, on my roof level, so I'm going to create a section. So from the quick access toolbar, so I'm going to select section. So let's say I'll just create that here on between the 5 and 6 grid line. So I'm going to pick the first point here and then I'm going to pick the second point here. And then let me just adjust the section by clicking that control arrow. So let me just put it, let's say here. Okay. And then modify. Then after that, let's open up the section by double clicking that field part. Double click that section bubble. And then here's our roof here. So I'm going to click the level here because it's overlapping my model. And then you see that small circle there. I'm going to hold my left click and then drag that away. Sorry. So click the level. And then you click that circle. Then you drag that. Maybe you just put it here to the other side. There you go. So we can see clearly our slope here. 
So you can change the detail level. So currently it's on the coarse detail level. So let me just change that to fine detail level. So on the fine detail level, so this is how it looks like. So we can also change that to shaded view. So as you can see, this is the only that area that only has the shade. But anyway, the next thing that we're going to do, as you can see, our slope is now like that. So it's working. So we are going to add another layer. So we are going to add an insulation layer. Okay, so to do that, so we are going to select again the roof. And then after that, let's go to the type properties. So we are going to create a new type of uh, floor. So we are going to duplicate this and then let's specify the name here. So let's say that is for my concrete deck. Okay, and then uh, tapered insulation or any other name that you would like. And then after that, select OK. And then you see the structure here. You click Edit. And then we are going to add another layer. We already have the structure layer here, which is eight inches thickness. So I'm gonna click layer one, and then I'm gonna add a layer here. So insert layer, and then you can specify here the function. Okay, so it's up to you, but for me, I'm just gonna select here structure one. And then for the material, so that is our concern, you click that button, and then you can type uh thermal so once you type thermal you will be going to this list here so we are going to select this one uh, rigid insulation so insulation thermal barriers rigid insulation so you can now select that okay and then you specify here the thickness so for the thickness so let's say i'll just type uh two inches and then you see there's an option here variable Okay, so you just need to uh, click the variable. So by clicking this or selecting this option, this will allow the insulation to slope while the other layers of the roof remains horizontal. Okay, so just check that one. And then after that, I'll just select your OK. And then after that, OK. And let's see. There you go. See? So as you can see, our insulation now is sloping and then our structure layer here is just going straight. So there's our insulation. Okay, so in 3D view, let's see how it looks like. So this is how it looks like in 3D view. So maybe we can change that also to uh, fine. And this is now how it looks like. So there's our slope there. So in the section view, so this is how it looks like. Okay, so let me just style the view and there you have it. Okay. All right. So basically that's how you add slope to your slab. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.